My name is Florian Riesch. I work for American Rheinmetall Defense. I'm responsible for the business development activities for vehicle systems. As a platform, we have got the Combat Proven Weasel, which we will be fitting with the Autonomous Intelligence Kit of the Mission Master UGV, which we see in the background, and I'm happy to guide you around there as well. The Weasel 2 initially was designed for the German Army for light infantry troops. So that version here that we're seeing is a man version. We wanted to show the basic platform that we're gonna be using. The idea is to use the um, Wiesel Digital that we have already developed with and for the German army. That vehicle is already fitted with electronic backbone. It has got drive-by-wire steering, NATO generic vehicle architecture. It can already be remote controlled from the inside, in the, in the back of the vehicle or from the outside. So it is already prepared for Autonomy. We're gonna be using that Weasel Digital and gonna be fitting it out with the Autonomous Kit and the Weapon Control Suit of the UGV Mission Master, which has got excellent autonomous capabilities, basically the best in class, but the, we consider the platform of the Weasel as the more suitable for robotic combat vehicle light. Our robotic combat vehicle light, which we call the Weasel Wingman, will be equipped with a Cross J weapon station. Right now, we show as an example for the integration the Rheinmetall Field Ranger weapon station. But we are pretty flexible in what we want to integrate, such as a Tether drone, which will be one of the requirements for RCV light. It is in service with the German army. It's combat proven. It has seen service in Kosovo and Afghanistan, a special version that is already remote controlled or was in service with the German army as a part of the route clearance package. So it was fitted out with a ground penetrating radar. And one of the key features of that vehicle is it's not only very mobile due to its tracks, it's also highly air transportable. So it fits into a CH-47, which is one of the requirements. You can transport it underslung and at least that base version is also qualified air droppable.